I use a low angle light source to sand the board and since it was cut out on the CNC machine it had a lot of tool marks and so I'm using the low angle light as a guide to get rid of all the tool marks. To uh, compare and contrast, I'll flip it over to the side that I haven't done yet. And you can see the light just brings out all those ridges. So as soon as the ridges are sanded away, you know when to stop sanding. So you can just barely make out a, a few little tool marks left, so I know I haven't gone too deep. I'm just about ready to glass the centerboard trunk, but before I do, we're gonna do something that we refer to as the rope trick. And this involves gluing an epoxy soaked rope from about here around the very leading edge of the centerboard out to about here. And uh, what this is going to do is create a very tough edge on the leading edge of the centerboard so that when you're dragging in the mud uh, and in sand, it won't wear into the wood. It'll just rub off uh, the epoxy coating on this rope and eventually it can be replaced. Um, and from the CNC machining, I've left a flat on the end of the trunk or on the end of the centerboard that's just a product of of cutting it out of the board and so I need to put a groove in that leading edge which is about 5 16 wide and I've created a tool to help me do that this is just a piece of plywood that I've shaped approximately to the section shape of the centerboard and I've ground a, a tiny little cutting edge on the head of a drywall screw and so I'm just going to use that like a scraper to try and put a groove in the leading edge of the trunk. Okay, to finish this last bit, I used a uh, screwdriver and a piece of sandpaper and I've drilled a hole in the bottom of the board. That's where I'm gonna start the rope. This is my rope, it's a quarter inch nylon uh, braided rope and it's going to start in that hole and work its way up over the leading edge and I decided to just take it all the way to the top because I think it's going to be easier to ferret in with the fiberglass and at the top I have uh, another hole drilled and the end of the rope will just lay down in that hole so the next thing I'm going to do is mix up some epoxy and get this rope soaked with epoxy. Okay, I just microwaved the epoxy to get it to be a little more liquidy and help it to soak into the rope. But if you can hardly hear me, that's because I'm wearing a respirator because I just put epoxy in the microwave. So I'm going to let that soak for about 10 or 15 seconds more because uh, the epoxy is now hot and it's not going to cool off. It's going to keep kicking off in the cup. So time to get it out of there and onto the center board. Now that it's taped down, you can kind of inspect it and massage it into place a little if you 
have a spot that's not quite straight, you can kind of push it over to one side. And uh, that's about it for the rope trick. And once that kicks off, we'll pull the tape and it'll be ready for a coat of fiberglass. I've just finished trimming the glass for the center board and I sanded the rope leading edge with a flat board to knock off any really high spots in the rope and the glass I've trimmed uh, about two inches fat on the leading edge because when I wet this out the weight of the glass will help to wrap it around the leading edge. Um, on the trailing edge I've only left about a half an inch because I'm gonna wet this out and I want the glass to stick out straight past the trailing edge and when I do the other side we'll fill that little gap on the trailing edge and that will create a little border of glass and epoxy along our trailing edge. Here's the finished side of the center board now glassed and you can see on the leading edge this extra fiberglass is helping to pull that glass around the leading edge. On the trailing edge where it was cut short the glass just wants to go straight out and so that's what we want. We're going to trim that back with a little bit of a fiberglass border. And you can also see I went over the entire board with a flexible squeegee to remove any excess epoxy. Another trick is if you have any air bubbles that are being really stubborn sometimes in these corner areas, you can come back to it in a few hours and just mash them down with your thumb and they'll stay stuck down permanently. I'm ready to glass the other side of the center board. This is the side that we did first and I've after the fiberglass kicked, I put a fill coat in, so I f partially filled the weave of the glass. You can kind of see uh, here, um, you can still see the glass, but most of the indentations of the glass have been filled in with epoxy. I've also smoothed out the uh, leading edge because I'm going to try to wrap the fiberglass all the way around uh, about three quarters of an inch to the leading edge side and I've left the trailing edge glass sticking out so that I can send this side over it and create a fiberglass and epoxy um, trailing edge. So I've smoothed it out. I'm going to fill in a few spots with thickened epoxy here where I have a few little voids around my rope and then I'm going to fiberglass it. 